last week. Meantime means lower mortgage rates as a result. Could that restart the pause in the housing market? It's been whiplash this year. Let's turn to Diana Olick to explain. Diana? Well, Kelly, so there was a bounce back, though, this morning in yields. And because of that, mortgage rates ticked up a little bit, but really just close to Friday's close. The average rate on the 30-year fixed is now at 6.75% down from over 7% last Wednesday, but still up from near 6% in January. And that's because of the CPI and fears the Fed will continue to be aggressive on inflation. That's for now, at least, outweighing the fears over the banking system. Now, the longer we go without another bank failure, the more likely it is that rates will go up again. Now, later today, we're going to get earnings from Lennar. That's the nation's second largest home builder. And this is going to be interesting simply because of the timing. The quarter being reported runs from the end of November to the end of February. Now, look at what happened with mortgage rates. They started coming down and were then decidedly down in January. That's when we saw both sales of newly built homes and pending sales of existing homes, which are signed contracts, jump nationally way beyond expectations even. Then came February and rates got ugly again. This is going to be some of the first builder commentary we get on that rate jump. And it may also be a sign of what we'll see Thursday in the next monthly report on housing starts. Because again, we are in this higher rate environment now, very different from January. Kelly? Right. Uh, Diana, thank you. We appreciate it. Uh, Diana Olick.